right now I can say that the security situation across the country is relatively peaceful but unpredictable. Uh, what has happened now is that uh, most of the armed groups are fragmented. Uh, they don't pose a serious threat, either territorial or otherwise, to the government of this country. So they are operating in silos, uh, starting sweeping from sector west through sector center up to sector east. So this is what we are seeing uh, in terms of their modus operandi now. They've adopted issues of, uh, we are seeing more activities of criminal in nature, uh, hinging on exactions, extortions, uh, you know, uh, robberies uh, on humanitarian, you know, agencies, equally on the local population, and so on. So this is the dynamics uh, currently obtaining. Coming to Bangui, as you know, uh, in the military, we say that uh, uh, where the seat of government is always a, a center of gravity. And this is a center of gravity for the Central African Republic. Right now, he is relatively calm. If you check from where this country is coming from, uh, why? It's because of the much work which MINUSCA is doing. Uh, and I can uh, underscore the many works uh, which uh, the Rwandese contingents are doing here. Fantastic. Professional uh, uh, contingent. And we've managed you know, to subdue some of these uh, uh, cases. Uh, what we are seeing now is just sporadic you know, cases of you know, criminal in nature, which you know, are under the umbrella of the police. So this is what is happening right now. Uh, issues in terms of projection, uh, the government has come up with a calendar in terms of uh, the local elections, which are coming uh, into effect in October next year, 2024. Uh, we are getting out of the rain season. So our projection is that we are likely to see an uptake in terms of these criminal activities. So if there's an uptake, it means it endangers uh, protection of civilians, which is priority number one in our mandate. So what should we do? So we are coming up with contingency plans of number one on how we are going to ensure that we diminish that threat. Secondly, on how we are going to support the electoral process, because that is part of our mandate. So those are what we are doing right now, but I can safely say that we have managed to control almost 75 percent in terms of criminal, criminal activities. Now we have a challenge. In most of these hard to reach areas, you know, uh, in field, what we are doing is, yes, MINUSCA, we are managing to reach those areas. We have demonstrated uh, in the recent past in Samwanja and in, in Imboki where we've done joint operations with the FACA, uh, the, local, the local military. The issue now comes in the extension of state authority because there's relative absence of state authority in many areas. Uh, they are mostly concentrated here in Bangui and in most of these prefecture headquarters, Bosangoa, Bua, Bria, Bangasu, and so on. But when you go deep, now there's relative absence. So this is what we are doing as part of our mandate. Once we conduct a joint operation, we are on the ground. Now other institutions of government can start coming in slowly to take over, you know, government responsibilities in those areas. I've been in the military for, for 30 years. They're very brave. And that is one attribute we require from a soldier under very difficult you know, circumstances. Here we operate under very, very difficult circumstances. But I've found uh, the Rwandese contingents to be one of the bravest. They're very brave. Uh, we had an incident, incident here, I think sometime in uh, either July or August in Samwanja. In Samwanja is, uh, is an area located closer to the border with the Sudan we had a lot of uh, insecurity in that area. So a decision was made uh, under the leadership of the SRSG, Madame Valentini Rugwaviza, to intervene. One, because of, uh, uh, you know, to ensure protection of civilians. Uh, and uh, 
as force commander, we moved the Rwandese battle group from Ubria. And in no time, they intervened because we had a huge influx of armed elements. Uh, they had taken over completely the town. Uh, but against all odds, Rwandese, you know, uh, moved in. Uh, it was against the backdrop of the attack which the armed groups, uh, you know, launched on, uh, on uh, uh, the gendarmerie, the local gendarmerie, who were deployed there. And we had a number of fatalities. So we had to activate the Rwandese battle group, deployed in no time. The situation was brought under control. They managed to, uh, you know, expel all the armed, armed, armed elements from, from that town. And the local population started coming back. They are still on the ground as we speak because the situation is not yet uh, stable. Uh, one of our patrols at one point was even ambushed. I know, you know, we, we lost one of our, you know, gallant peacekeepers from Rwanda. Uh, and they had to react with that, you know, uh, posture uh, uh, against that particular ambush. It's not an easy thing. You are on a patrol, you are ambushed. They were able to pursue uh, those armed elements that, is, that, that conducted that ambush. And the story, you know about it. So those are the attributes I can, I can give on, on Rwandese. Very dependable uh, in so many cases where we have engaged them. Uh, they've succeeded. So I think uh, they are a force to reckon with. Thank you.